How does chloroform work and why are the drugged victims in movies and TV always beautiful women? All right, you've touched on two areas here, science and the portrayal in media. Let's break this down. First off, how does chloroform work? Chloroform, chemically known as trichloromethane, is a pretty potent compound that affects the central nervous system. When inhaled, chloroform vapors depress the central nervous system, leading to dizziness, disorientation, and eventually unconsciousness. It's not instantaneous like in the movies. It takes a good five minutes of inhaling an adequate concentration to knock someone out. Chloroform, by the way, is highly toxic and can seriously damage the liver, kidneys, and heart, which is why it's no longer used for medical purposes. Now, the second part of your question is more about social cliches and stereotypes in media. I'm grateful we're starting to question why these stereotypes exist and are challenging the status quo of damsel in distress storylines. The portrayal of beautiful women as victims has its roots in the damsel in distress trope that's been baked into storytelling for way too long. It's a sort of lazy way to evoke emotional response from the audience. Not to mention, it's also a reflection of dated attitudes about gender roles where women are viewed as vulnerable and in need of protection. Pretty archaic, right? But the times are changing. Audiences these days crave complexity and depth. They want action heroines, smart and savvy sidekicks, and characters that break the mold. I live in Portland, Oregon, and this city embodies progressiveness and the push for equality and representation. I love that we're starting to see stronger, diverse roles for women in our stories, as this resonates with the energy and values around here. While old habits die hard in Hollywood, there's no denying that we're beginning to see a shift as we celebrate women of all kinds. The empowered, clever, and fully dressed for success types who don't always cave under the chloroform-soaked rag. So, while the science of chloroform holds up to the scrutinizing eye, the perpetual victim casting does not. It's high time we knocked out that tired trope and woke up to a new era of representation. Yeah, that's the kind of script flip we can all get behind.